You won't get me to love me And so how am I ever to know You always tell me Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps On Everyday Legend today we meet the very vivacious and totally unstoppable Joey Chan. You might have seen her on The Voice earlier this year when she was singing at the auditions. Joey has an extensive career performing in the UK, Australia and Hong Kong. Born in Hong Kong, Joey is proficient in singing pop in Cantonese, Mandarin and English. Joey does a lot of work for the community and she sings at a variety of events from weddings to aged care. And we're now going to see exactly why the unstoppable Joey Chan is our everyday legend. Hi Joey and welcome to Over 50 So What, the unstoppable Joey. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> now I saw you on The Voice and I thought you're definitely unstoppable. You've got lots of zest for life. So that's what inspired me to get hold of you because all the viewers, that's we love to see. People who are inspiring that are over 50, they've got lots of energy and zest for life and they want to know what your secrets are. Oh la la! <laughs> to start off with, can you tell us a bit about your singing and music background and how you got into that? I think my first performance is I was 10 years old, little school girl and went into school trip uh, for the choir and then I, I didn't know since that moment I, I feel I love the stage I love to share my voice right but um, because I brought up in a very traditional Chinese family in Hong Kong they never encouraged me and they didn't see my potential either I had, don't have any singing lesson no no uh, it's just not been developed you know but in my heart 10 years old I they playing the seat and then later on, when I'm in high school, I tried to join the singing competition because I still love singing. And I always got to top second, you know, second running up, never win a champion. But but what happened at the reality hit um, because parents, you know, family thinking you need to get a job, you know, and then you need to study hard. You need to go to university and all this pressure on. So when I had a... I thinking decided okay career singing or go to study so I went to England to study jewelry design at the end and uh, but lucky enough I got singing opportunity in UK too because I win the singing competition in Chinese song and then so singing is always in my blood just on and off on and off even I finished in graduate in university for the jewelry design and went back to work in Hong Kong, in UK, and came to Australia to work as well. And, uh, but at that moment, I stopped singing for just because of work and career. Like all for us, lots of, lots of artists like this, you know, have to survive. And I, I could even don't tell my in all family I can sing because I, I thought, you know, my life is different now. I have to focus family, focus on work, you know. And, uh, but when I turned to 50, the story changed, you know. What happened is I, I think I lost myself. I lost myself for just, you know, doing what other people expect me to do as a marriage woman, as a mom. And then, but I just thinking when I turned to 50, life is too short. I met so many beautiful particular senior people, they have so many things in their bucket list and then they, they all think, oh, I wish I have done this. I, I wish I do something, you know? And I tell myself, why you have to wish to do so many things really in your heart? If singing is my blood, why can't I do it now? You know? I think a lot, a lot of people, you know, die with regrets. You know, when you say they wish they'd done that, they wish that they'd done that. And you obviously have no regrets. And what made you go into the voice? Oh, right, the voice, yeah. Da, 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 da. And one of my uh, got, uh, got family and the 10 years old boy, he's the first one actually, he did ask me, 
Hey Joey, you sing so well. Why don't you go to the Voice? And I, ooh, interesting. I thought, but what happened is no one know me in Australia. No one know um, who is Joey Chen. So I think the Voice is a good channel. The Voice let the people in Australia know, hey, I'm here. You know, nothing to lose. I don't want to regret to say I wish I'd done that. You know, so I I apply. I apply for the Voice. Well, I was so in inspired by you at 55 rocking that little gold mini dress and the high heel gold boots and everything I was like I want to be like her and I thought there's going to be lots of people that want to be like her rocking things like that at over 50. That's what matter for me I'm not competing with other people I compete challenge myself yeah. you know for the voice I think I just want to be hi come on well, just do it let's get loud well, congratulations on having the guts to get up there and do it. I mean, so now at the moment you sing at for aged care, you sing at weddings, you sing for community groups. Can you tell us sort of what your performances involve now? At the moment, I only do Zoom performing, but I'm fortunate enough, you know, after the voice and then some community or some leader, um, they want to support me. They want to see me in my dream, one of my dream, my bucket list. Oh, no, 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 is at my own concert. So I know you do a lot of work with the Chinese community, especially with the seniors. Can you tell us a bit about why you were so passionate about working with the older age group and performing to the older age group? Oh, my favourite person in the world is my grandmum. You know, because of my parent is always busy working and I have sibling of five. I'm the middle one. She is the one caring of me, give me love and spoil me. And and I'm thinking, oh, she passed away when I was only 18. I don't even start to work and, and, and take her to see the world and traveling around. And so the senior is always in my heart. And also the Chinese culture, I, I respect. I think senior, they are very valuable. Like quite often, for example, now the COVID, so many of my senior friends, they don't know how to use Zoom. They live by themselves. They 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 quite uh, isolate. So if we have people like you and me or some other volunteer or some people passionate about serving the others or bringing joys, and then we can just cheer them up, you know, cheer them up even, even one day. If everyone gives you one day for the other, you know, the world will be better. The senior will be living more happy life, you know. I, of course, physically, we may be slowing down, but we are not dead yet, right? So I think, mean, why are we doing something? And also, surfing, giving uh, to the other, it, it's a happy thought for me. I think if you can give, you are even better than receive, you know. And then that's why I know I'll be aging, you know, even though you think I'm like, look like 40 or whatever. But I just try to maintain my health, you know, I try to prolong the aging. And then if you wrinkle coming, it's okay, it's wrinkle coming, you know, but my heart is still strong. All right, Joey, well, thank you so much for coming on the show and, and, and spreading your enjoyment for life and your passion for the older age group. And, and we can tell you, once we open up, you're going to be out there performing in front of, you know, lots of big audiences and all different community groups. And congratulations on being Volunteer of the Year, as well as also being, you know, having the guts to be on The Voice. So well done and thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, and also I want to clarify, I, I'm, I'm not a volunteer of the year of the whole Australia. I'm only the right, uh, the council, so I, I'm not on the same number, but I, I just be a blessing to, to be able to serve and then, and to know you. And congratulations on your TV presenter award, you know, hallelujah. And then I'm sure you'll bring more joys and then uh, more people can benefit, you know, and do life together with you. Okay, if you need me again, yep. So if you really love me, say yes. But if you don't do, confess. And please don't tell me. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Perhaps, 
you'll start working on something to do in the Senior Spectacular. Perhaps you'll start doing a five minute fitness routine every day. Perhaps you'll follow the example of Joey and take a bold step and go audition for The Voice. Or maybe just do something else outside your comfort zone. If you'd like more information on Emma from The Daisy Chain and Joey Chan, the unstoppable Joey Chan, just go to our website, carolahalloran.com. Please join our Facebook group and our YouTube channel, Over 50 So What? If you're watching this from a retirement community or from an aged care facility, just imagine what it would be like to have Emma and Joey come to your facility and get everyone going. One thing's for certain, it would be lots of fun and laughter. Just what we need at this time. Keep active, keep connected and keep laughing. I'm Carol, over 50, so what? Thanks for watching our TV show. Be sure to hit subscribe and then you'll never miss an episode. Jump on Facebook, join our group, get in on the fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. I'm Carol, over 50, so what?